Are you the occupier of a commercial premises? In other words, do you lease a, a commercial premises and the lease is going to expire or has expired? You may well be entitled to a new lease, courtesy of the Landlord and Tenant Act of 1980, which was amended by the Landlord and Tenant Act of 1994. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can claim a new lease in respect of your premises. Basically, there are three circumstances where you may be entitled to a new lease. There are, they're called three equities, three circumstances basically, or three categories. One is the business equity, and this is the one that I'm gonna talk about in this video. It's where you continuously occupy a premises, carrying on a business, a commercial premises, for in excess of five years. That's why you'll see a lot of short-term leases for say four years and nine months granted by landlords. These are situations where the landlord doesn't want the tenant in for too long a period and will probably want the premises back for himself at some stage. But if you're in occupation for in excess of five years, you're entitled generally by law, courtesy as I say of the Landlord and Tenant Act to a new lease. The terms then of the new tenancy are to be agreed between you and the landlord and if they're not agreed but between you and the landlord then you simply go to court and the court will fix the terms of the new lease. The lease then if it's based on business equity in other words your occupation of the premises for over five years can be for um, fixed at a period or a term of 20 years. So you have a short term lease you are in occupation though for in excess of five years it's now terminated or ceased or may have ceased some time ago then you are entitled to a new lease for 20 years the fixed term of 20 years uh, can be changed or can be reduced by yourself in other words you can nominate for say a 10-year lease or a 15-year lease but generally it would be a 20-year period the rent then that will be fixed for the new lease that you'll get will be the market rent so again if there's a dispute between you and the landlord the court ultimately the circuit court will end up fixing the rent now there are some restrictions on the right to a new tenancy for example if the landlord is going to carry out some scheme of development and has planning permission then he's entitled to get the premises back to do that and he's entitled not to grant a new uh, lease in addition you may have set out or you may have signed at the beginning what's called the deed of renunciation in other words you may have renounced your right to a new lease at the outset it used to be the case that you could only do this in respect of an office premises but new law came in there the civil law act of 2008 and it allows you to contract out or renounce your right to a new tenancy or new lease in any commercial premises so you need to check with your you know your documentation or indeed with your solicitor who would have acted for you at the time if you had a solicitor that you didn't actually uh, renounce your right and contract out of it as i say if the landlord intends developing the property or whatever it's possible that he may get out of the obligation to grant you a new lease in order to claim a new lease then there's particular forms that you need to serve on your landlord they're set out in the landlord and tenant regulations of 1980 it's a very straightforward form you fill it out and or your solicitor fills it out and serves it on the landlord and you must do that within three months of the end of your existing tenancy or on receipt of a notice to quit from the landlord so ultimately then negotiations would kick off and if they are not successful you end up issuing proceedings in the circuit court and you let the court decide on the length of the new uh, lease your the fact of your entitlement to it and the market rent